Hello friends, in today's video I'll show you how to use Clay together with a tool called SmartLead so that you can finally send hyper-personalized cold emails like there is no tomorrow at a bunch of innocent prospects that are definitely not awaiting those emails and how you can do that using a mix of Clay and SmartLead. So without further ado, there are seven steps that we need to follow. The first step is to basically go inside of Clay and when we're inside of Clay you will navigate to the settings in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. You will then see a button which says connections and then the connections parts you can type in smart lead over here you will see it says the amount of connections that you have and you can basically add a connection by clicking in the top right hand corner at that moment in time just give your api key a name so we will basically just say tim 2025 test and what you would then do is you will go into your fancy workspace inside a smart lead you will click in the top right hand corner on your icon with like your specific uh, company domain and so on and then you will select settings when you click on settings, you're able to see the API key over here. So all you have to do is basically copy and paste this API key from here directly into the API key button uh, over here. And then at that moment in time, you can click set as default, save, test account and save. At that moment in time, you will add something very similar to this. So you would see the actual API key. Make sure to name it correctly so you can reference it later on, especially useful if you know, you're, you're working with a bunch of different clients for your lead generation efforts. Now we can move on to the second step, which is building a quick email campaign inside of SmartLead. And the way we'll do that inside of SmartLead, by navigating to the email campaign parts on the left-hand side and clicking on create campaign in the top right-hand corner. At that moment in time, I'm just going to call it test YouTube campaign. And then over here, what you need to do is basically, you can upload a CSV file and we can talk about this option later down the line. This is not important. Or you can just simply click on sequences over here just to move forward from the import of leads because we can worry about this later on. At this moment in time, you just need to put in some placeholder text here because we'll replace this with a text later down the line. So you can just type in any random gibberish here. And every single time when you send the email, you can click on preview in the top right hand corner and it will show you the text that will be sent to each specific lead that will then be added to the campaign. You can do the same by navigating on the left side of the panel by clicking on add step, and then you can click on email and space out your emails. So for example, you can wait for five days until sending the second email. And once again, you'll input some placeholder text here. And this has to be the exact amount of emails that you will be sending out from the campaign that you're creating inside of Clay already, right? So in this case, I'm just assuming that I'm sending out three emails. I'm gonna space them out by five and three days. And then after I'm happy with that, always make sure to click on save change to the bottom right hand corner because otherwise you'll have to redo this again. And then you'll click on save and next and you should be able to go to the setup. Now, typically you just set this up once. So don't worry about it. Every future campaign, you can use this as a template. So, and I'll show you how to do this if you make it to the end of this video. But the first thing that we need to do is click on sender accounts over here and select the sender account that you want to choose. In my case, I've got about 50 inboxes, I believe, for my agency and for my course. So I'm just going to select all of them because once again, this is a test campaign and you can select a bunch of inboxes by just selecting in the top left hand corner, selecting all, applying the selection, and then you can untick any re like irrelevant ones if there are some irrelevant ones. For example, the ones with like bad reputations and always make sure that the reputation is good. So make sure that reputation is 100%, but if it's under like 97, 95%, then you are, you've done something wrong, right? And you can watch another video. I'll probably do another video on how to warm up domains and so on. Then afterwards, you will then you can then click on schedule the campaign. And over here, you can select the days that you want to send emails. I don't really care. I send them seven days a week uh, because I'm the kind of person that would read an email over the weekend. And then you can set the campaign start date, which will be immediately, literally today as I'm recording this video. You can also choose the max number of leads reached per day per campaign. To be honest, this is completely irrelevant since I'm using 50 inboxes. Mathematically speaking, I've probably sent 10,000 emails a day, so I'm just gonna write that. But honestly, if you put in 2,000, I don't really think it, it matters. Uh, you don't need to be a mathematician to be doing this. And then just click on save. And at that moment in time, you've basically selected most of the good stuff uh, when setting up the campaign inside of Smart Lead. Then we'll click on campaign settings. Here, I just recommend that you boost your deliverability by sending emails in plain text. Basically, this means that it's not gonna be in HTML formats, which is more likely to land you in the junk. Um, according to a bunch of LinkedIn gurus that I absolutely trust after reading one clickbaity post on LinkedIn. Um, and then once again, you can even tick the box to force the plain text as content type. And once again, you can auto pause if one of the leads from the same domain replies. If you really care about this, I personally don't care. Like, let's send it to everyone at the company. Just kidding, of course, but up to you. 
Um, and then once again, you can send it to all provider uh, to every single email provider. If you just want to send to Gmail, you can do that. Um, once again, I know people freak out about Outlook, but there is so much noise about this. Like honestly, like I just click on send to all, and somehow um, I still live with that uh, in the back of my mind when I go to sleep every night. So honestly, like no drama. Um, I think that's probably the right thing to select there. And then afterwards, you can use the AI categorization. So in other words, you don't need to hire a virtual assistant and to train them up on how to categorize um, email replies based on certain categories. Instead, like AI will just do that for you. And I don't think it costs you extra inside of SmartLead if you're on the $94 plan anyways. So you might as well just tick all of the boxes here. Um, and then at that moment in time, you can just tick one of the boxes here as well, which says automatically restart AI categorized out of offices when lead returns. So in other words, if a person is out of office until the 15th of March, then on the 15th of March, you will automatically then send them the next email. Um, once again, like, I don't really care when I select these, like, if you want to, like, overthink and just like, like, yeah, just do that. But for the time being, those are the filters that I go for. I always activate the auto bounce protection, uh, auto pause protection from bounces. So in other words, if you, more than like 5% of emails bounce, I want to pause the campaign because that's not a good look. The, like the domains could be hurt and so on. The reputation could go down from 100%. So I don't want to risk that. Um, and like, I mean, you can add an uns unsubscribe link. I don't want to be sued here. But once again, I don't personally do it most of the time. So um, yeah, probably not worth doing that. And then you can click on save general settings. And at that moment in time, you basically set up the campaign inside of Smart Lead. So all you then do is just basically select the account. I don't know why it asked me once once again to select the account. And then you can click on save email accounts. And you can see over here, just you can click on schedule campaign. So that's what I'm going to click right now. And then straight away, as soon as I schedule it, I'm going to click on the three dots in the top right hand corner. And I can see that it's just a drafted campaign, right? Because no leads have been added. And you would know if, the, if leads are added just by clicking on the lead list here. What we then need to do is realize that we've created that campaign inside a smart lead. But obviously, we have the sequences set up here with a placeholder text. But no leads have been added yet. So the next step is we need to generate a custom message inside of Clay. So the way we'll do that, there are two methodologies for it, but I'll just keep it nice and short for you. And I'll just show you what works 99% of the time. The easiest way is to send it all as one message. So for example, you will just click on add column in the top right hand corner, click on message, and you will basically just type in the message, including the custom variables of each individual person. So you'll click on hi, first name, curious, what's your five kilometer PB, right? And then RE, five kilometer PB. At that moment in time, we can just click on save and don't run. This will still generate the message. And then we can rename this column to be email one. And once again, you'll do the exact same thing for email two. So you can just use a bunch of variables that you've already generated here. And you can do that with like first liners, all of that fancy stuff. Trust me with this. Super straightforward, right? At that moment in time, in this case, I'm just going to duplicate this. So I have some text to work with for email two as well. And let's imagine that we've got both emails that are fully generated. They look like this and we want to send them and the prospects. What we then need to do is move on to step number four, which is adding the lead to a campaign. So the way we can do that, if we are on the $349 plan inside of Clay, the way we can do that is by clicking on add enrichment in the top right hand corner. We'll type in smart lead. You would see this thing which says add lead to a campaign. At that moment in time, you can select the campaign. So I'm just going to type in the campaign name. You can see over here that test YouTube campaign shows up. So this is the exact campaign that we just created. And the email address, of course, we need an email address. By the way, like if you haven't verified the email address, then yeah, just sort that out in the meantime. And then you can type in that you can add the first name of the person. Once again, it's important later down the line if you're setting up email reply notifications. Um, and I'll link a video down below. Like at the end of this video, you'll I'll show you how to connect how to use make in order to get those email reply notifications. And essentially, one thing that we're looking for is the custom fields at the bottom. So this is where the money is made, right? So the custom fields is going to be email one and email two. So all we have to do is scroll down to custom fields, click on add a new custom field and custom field value pair, click on that, type in email underscore one. Obviously, you can type it in as like as grammatically incorrect as you want. Um, because yeah, it's up to you. And it, in the column on the right, you'll just basically reference the actual email. So it's you'll reference the column that we're trying to enroll. We can then basically just click on save and run 11 rows in this view. 
at that moment in time, the leads will be automatically added into the campaign. So you can see like in this case, the email was missing for the person, but the rest of the people have been added to the campaign. So now we go into the smart lead campaign and if we refresh it, and if we refresh the page by just refreshing it, you can see six leads have been added and we can see the custom emails, right? But here is the catch. We still need to replace the placeholder text. And the way we'll do that is by clicking on sequences. Inside of sequences here, you could see these funny looking custom variables like the brackets. You will click on that and voila, email one pops up. Now you'll click on save changes at the bottom of the screen. In the top right hand corner, you can click on the preview button and you would see for Nathan that the email would look like this. For Gary, the email will look like this. For Chase, it would look like this, right? You can also send the test email by clicking on that and then choosing what email you want to send it to. So you can type in like my email, whatever here, and you would receive it in your inbox. By the way, if this lands in your spam, don't worry about it because this does not test email deliverability. Just te it just tests the formatting of the email. At that moment in time, we can close this. We can do the same for email too. Now we can basically then, oh crap, I think I, I actually forgot to pause the campaign. So that means that these people are actually going to get an email from me asking for their five kilometer BB, but it's fine. I'll probably send them this video so they can reference that. And you can see same thing for email too. It was supposed to be the exact same text. Um, and yeah, the, basically that's the way you do it. You just map the variables. Uh, don't forget to add a subject line. You could also you could also pass the subject line technically from uh, from Clay as well. I just don't bother showing it to you in this, but you could do the exact same thing here. And if you do have a custom subject line, you can click on the variables on the right hand side and it will just be one of the variables here. So make sure that you're not trying to select it with this variable for the subject line, but rather the one which is right on the right of the subject line, right? At that moment in time, you'll click on save changes. We'll click on save and next, and then you can update the campaign. What unfortunately I've done wrong here is I think I've already enrolled the people in the campaign. So I'm just going to pause the campaign because a couple of these people I actually know personally. So you will just be a bit, you know, out of the blue being like, hey, forgot to ask, like, what's your five kilometer PB? Um, yeah, so that's that. Essentially, this is the fastest way to set this up. If you want to set this up manually, and if you don't have the $349 plan inside of Clay, they will always like force you to upgrade because like little stuff like this, you'll have to do manually. And the way you'll do that manually is by clicking on actions, by clicking on import, um, sorry, export. And then you'll just basically download the CSV file from Clay. And afterwards, after this file has been downloaded, you would have to go into this campaign that we've just set up and drag and drop the file and then map the variables. So that's how you would have to do it, right? So you will have to map the first name, the LinkedIn profile, and then let's say like the, uh, you will have to mark email one as a custom field and email two as a custom field. And at that moment in time, when you click on save and next, it will basically automatically map those people and add them to a campaign. So you, this thing will still show up, but you'd have to manually do this every time rather than just doing it with a click of a button inside of Clay here. And once again, I do have a separate video on that. I'll link in the description underneath here because it's one of those boring videos that five people would be probably interested in in the next year or so. Now, here's the thing. This took us 13 minutes in this video for me to show you how to do this. And of course you're wondering, surely there is a quicker way to do this. Like people say AI automations, do this in one click, like it's 2025. How, why does it take us 13 minutes to do this the first time? And you're right, because the first time it will take you a while to set this up. But in order to do this scalably and super fast, all you need to do is click on the add lead campaign enrichment, click on edit column, then select save as template, and then over here, you can just say like, I don't know, whatever the template name is, I'm just going to call it Tim is cool because then I know it's a dummy template and I can delete it later and then click on save template. And next time when you're trying to add a lead to a campaign, all you need to do is click on add enrichment, type in smart lead and then add lead to campaign. And then in the, in the top of the screen, you will have browse templates. And then you have this one, which is called Tim is cool. And the only thing you need to do is just select email one and email two and straight away, you can push them into a campaign, right? apply template and voila it took us 30 seconds to do what before you know it took us a couple of minutes then you can save and run them and once again this will push all the leads into the campaign and if you then try to set up the campaign inside of smart lead because you can just have one template so you can rename this to like i don't know template right and it says here to email template what we can then start doing is just duplicating this to email template every time so we'll just click on duplicate campaign confirm and proceed and at that moment in time, 
it now just takes us 30 seconds to set this up or so, right? So you already just have this and we can rename it like campaign to YT. And then straight away, all the settings have been passed on. So it's, we already know the sending accounts, we already know the schedule, the campaign settings, all of that stuff. And it now takes us only a couple of minutes to set up. So essentially, this is how you create how how you create the connection between Clay and Smart Lead. If you want the exact seven steps with this video so that you can send this to a colleague, a freelancer, a virtual assistant, anyone to manage all of this for you, all you need to do is just click the link underneath the video. And just for context, for those of you that may be not the most technical people out there, what I mean by the link in the description is let's say this is like the beautiful video with my face in the corner of it. At the bottom, there is always a link to the guide for the video which basically just saves you the time of having to go to YouTube again and to just rewatch it. Like this, you can just save the link to this guide, which contains the video and the like lead magnets with or whatever, like the step-by-step -step guide. So you don't need to every time anxiously go and find one of a million videos that I record on a daily basis, right? So in a nutshell, that's how you use Clay together with Smart Lead. If you want to get the guide, it's underneath the video. More than that, I have a course that teaches you Clay from zero to 100 with tools like Smart Lead, Hey Reach, and a bunch of other ones. If you want to check that out, I'll link underneath the video. It really depends on where you're at and like what stage you're at as a business or like as a freelancer or whatever you're doing right now. But I promise you it's the best course in the market. If it's not, I just give you a refund. It only costs £100. I've got over 80, 90 testimonials in the last two months alone. So, yeah, I'll just leave you with that choice. You can just go to unlockclay.com, check it out. Honestly, no drama. If not, subscribe to the channel to just make my day today. Like the video, comment something nice. Especially if you have another video suggestion, comment that down below because I'm trying to record a video every single day this month. And it's proving very difficult because I'm just running out of ideas. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video, hopefully, if you want to binge watch a bunch of like technical, nerdy clay videos. And thank you so much for tuning in for the last 17 minutes. And one last thing. Up here, there will be a video right now in the top left corner of your screen about how you can set up reply notifications so that every time that someone replies in Smart Lead, you can be notified via email, via Slack, via whatever platform you wish. So go check it out. It'll be in the top left corner here. I'll see you next time. Cheers.